Namaste. Welcome to the lecture series on the subject basic thermodynamics, module 5, part 1, ideal gases, lecture number 2. Myself, Dr. Yan Satish Kumar, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kenara Engineering College, Bantwal. The contents for this topic are partial pressure, partial volume, then Dalton's law of partial pressures, Amagat's law of additive volumes, Gibbs law and also we study the specific heat of ideal gases. So, what is partial pressure? Partial pressure of a constant in a mixture is a pressure exerted when it alone occupies the mixture volume at mixture temperature. Right? So, it is a pressure exerted when it alone occupies the mixture volume. So, you have a particular volume in that all the gases are present now because since it is a mixture, so many constant gases are present. Now, if you want to find out its partial pressure, so same quantity of gas should occupy the same volume, means the volume of the mixture, okay, and at the mixture temperature. So, if Pa is the partial pressure of a gas, then you have the equation P A into V is equal to M A R A into T because here V is the mixture volume and T is the mixture temperature. So, it has to be taken without suffix A whereas other properties P A is the partial pressure of A, M A is the mass of A and R A is the gas constant. But similarly, suppose uh, for uh, constant gas B, so you can write P B into V is equal to M B R B into T. So, for each of these constant gases, so you can write the expression uh, using P V is equal to M R T. Okay? Coming to the partial volume, so partial volume of a gas in a mixture is a volume occupied by the gas component at mixture pressure and temperature. So, it is the volume occupied by the gas component at the mixture pressure. So, you have to bring it to the mixture pressure and mixture temperature. So, then what volume it occupies? So, that is called as a partial volume. Suppose if V A is the partial volume of the gas A and V B is the partial volume of the gas B, then you can write the characteristic gas equation as P V A is equal to M A R A into T. You see again here, uh, P is the mixture pressure. So, there is no suffix and it is the mixture temperature there is no suffix for rest of the properties there is suffix uh, A is there. Similarly, for B. Now, you see uh, this is the container. So, of the mixture uh, now let us consider only two constant gases are there A and B and the mixture pressure is P, uh, temperature is uh, T, uh, volume is V. Now, for partial pressure, so A alone when it occupies the entire container volume, then pressure exerted is a partial pressure. You should try to understand this. When the A alone, now it is A plus B is occupying the container volume V. Now, you separately same mass of A, when it is made to occupy the container volume V at temperature T, so then it is called as a partial pressure of A. Now, partial volume, so you cannot take this volume now, this, this, so there should be a different container. So, in that container, you should place it or make it occupy at the mixture pressure and temperature. So, you have to maintain the mixture pressure. So, for that you need a lesser volume because same volume you cannot maintain. So, that is what the partial volume. Okay. So, partial volume is less than the mixture volume. Similarly, partial pressure is less than the mixture pressure. Okay. Now, Dalton's law of partial pressures, uh, if you consider a mixture of gases, each component at the temperature of the mixture 
occupying entire volume occupied by the mixture and exerting only a fraction of the total pressure as shown in this figure okay okay here this plus sim symbol has to be here okay now here see uh, this is a, i think it is a very small letters here inside this uh, this is m suffix a okay and p suffix a and t and v you see uh, it is no suffix for all these bo boxes so if there are some n number of constant gases so you have to make uh, identical boxes or the containers uh, as that of the mixture container and you have to make each of these gases to occupy that volume same volume of the mixture so then the pressure exerted is known as the partial pressure exerted by each of these constant gases so this is pa and this is pb and this is uh, pc and so on and this is nothing but equal to so here equal to sign is there okay some diagrammatical error is there so this is the mass of the mixture and this is the pressure of the mixture so what you can find out is from this is the mixture pressure is equal to summation of the partial pressures now so when i apply the equation of state uh, p is equal to mrt for the mixture so it becomes pmv now it is actually small m uh, into r into t actually p is equal to mrt okay i'll write this side also uh, pv is equal to mrt so mixture so suffix m for pressure okay and for mass as well as for r so there is no suffix for t and v now uh, this side it is written as it is here mass of the mixture this is m suffix m is nothing but molecular number of moles of the mixture into molecular weight of the mixture so that is nm into mm into rm as it is into t okay now this is a repetition by mistake uh, is equal to nm into r bar t now what is r bar so that is a universal gas constant so you know that universal gas constant r bar is nothing but uh, molecular weight into gas constant m into r okay so this m into r term here so i'll use a different color to highlight that you see this product m into mm into rm so that is nothing but uh, r bar here the universal uh, gas constant for that gas oh sorry it is a same for all gases okay universal gas constant is co constant for and it is same for all the gases uh, only the uh, molecular weight and r changes but their product always remains same okay correction now suppose if you apply the same equation for the individual gases because each of them is occupying the same volume now at same temperature so you can write pa into v is equal to na r bar into t similarly you can write pvb is equal to nb r bar t pvc uh, sorry pcv uh, is equal to nc r bar t okay so you can write for individual constant gases so we know that the total number of moles of the mixture is equal to the sum of the number of moles of individual constant gases so nm is equal to na plus nb plus nc and so on so if you substitute from the above expressions so nm is equal to pmv by r bar t from the previous slide and uh, pa na is equal to pav by r bar t that is from this expression uh, you are written for na from the second expression of this slide uh, pbv divided by r bar t similarly pcv by r bar t now here v r bar and t are common in each of these terms so you can cancel that and you'll get pm is equal to pa plus pb plus pc and so on and summation of uh, pi also you can write that means the total pressure of the mixture is the sum of the partial pressures of the individual gases so this is also called as sometimes as the gibbs dalton's law of partial pressure dalton's law of partial pressure or you can also mention it as gibbs dalton's law of uh, dalton law of partial pressure which states that the total pressure exerted by the mixture of the gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of the individual 
uh, gases you see partial pressure of the individual gases uh, gas components okay each of these component is considered to exist alone at the temperature and volume of the mixture that is very very important thing you have to understand so the pressure partial pressure is the pressure exerted when the individual constant or the individual component of the gas is occupying the mixture volume and it is at the mixture temperature so it's very important relation the total pressure of the mixture is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of all the gases now amagat's law of additive volumes it expresses the law of additive volume which states that the volume of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the volumes of the individual components at the pressure and temperature of the mixture so i already defi defined uh, what is the partial volume right so it is the volume occupied by the same mass of the substance at the uh, mixture pressure and temperature so here the total volume of the mixture is equal to the sum of the volume of the individual components at the uh, mixture pressure and temperature so vm is equal to va plus vb plus vc at the mixture pressure and temperature or you can write it as summation of vi and from dalton's law you know that pm is equal to pa plus pb plus pc summation of pi okay now coming to the gibbs law it states that the internal energy enthalpy and entropy of the mixture is equal to the sum of the internal energies the enthalpies and entropies respectively of the individual gases evaluated at mixture temperature and pressure so that is very very important so it should be evaluated at mixture pressure and temperature so nowhere it is evaluated at mixture volume okay now here what it says is the internal energy of the mixture is is nothing but the sum of the internal energies of the individual gases suppose if you have two gases in the mixture a and b then internal energy u is equal to ua plus ub now these are the specific quantities if you want the total quantity you have to multiply by mass so here m is the mass of the mixture into u uh, internal energy of the specific energy of the mixture then mass of a into ua mass of b into ub and if you take u m to the other side so it becomes ma by m that is nothing but mass fraction of a here it becomes mass fraction of b so enthalpy of the mixture that is per unit mass is equal to mfa into ua plus mfb into ub okay now if you divide it by temperature so you'll get du by dt is equal to mfa into dua by dt plus mfb into dub by dt and as all of you know the rate of change of internal energy so this is nothing but the specific heat at constant volume for the mixture and this becomes specific volume uh, specific heat at constant volume for constant gas a and this is specific heat at constant volume for gas b okay similarly uh, you can write the expression for specific heat at constant pressure the cp is equal to mfa into cp of a plus mfb into cp of b where c is a specific heat at constant volume on mole basis uh, suppose if you write uh, a, like top like this so that it is called as a specific heat at uh constant pressure and volume on mole basis okay so then you can write uh, cv bar is equal to ya into cv bar for a plus yb into cv bar now here there is no mass fraction so you have to consider the mole fraction of a and mole fraction of b so now this is when, when you consider the mole basis suppose if you are considering mass basis then the previous expression and this cp expression at the top so you have to write for the Uh, specific heats now this is the expression for cp on molar basis or mole basis now coming to the specific heat of ideal gases so from the definition of specific heat at a constant volume and the specific heat at a constant pressure so you have uh, cv is equal to du by dt which is also a function of temperature and enthalpy is also a function of uh, temperature so cp is defined as rate of change of enthalpy so cp is equal to dh by dt so specific heat at constant volume cv is the rate of uh, uh, change of internal energy whereas uh, specific heat at constant pressure is nothing but the rate of change of enthalpy so here internal energy and enthalpy both are functions of 
uh, temperature. So, u and h are the functions of uh, temperature. So, from the above equations you can write du is equal to Cv into dt and dh is equal to Cp into dt. So, for a mass of m kg of the gas, so the equation becomes du is equal to m c v d t d h is equal to m c p d t. Now, this is the uh, specific internal energy, this is the specific enthalpy. Now, if you want to find out total, you have to multiply by mass, this is the total internal change and this is the total enthalpy change. Okay? Now, on integrating the above expressions, so we get u2 minus u1 is equal to m integration from t1 to t2 cv dt and h2 minus h1 is equal to m integration from t1 to t2 cp dt. Okay? So, in the cv and cp you have to integrate uh, with respect to time. Now, relation between specific heat for an ideal gas, so there are two important relations. Uh, for an ideal gas, as all of you know, uh, h is equal to u plus uh, pv, but pv you can write it as rt for unit mass. So, this is specific quantities h and u. So, everything is for unit mass. So, you can write h is equal to u plus rt. So, this is h is equal to u plus pv, this is a basic equation. Okay, u plus pv Okay, now you can write it as h is equal to u plus rt because pv is equal to rt. So, therefore, uh, dh by dt is equal to du by dt plus r okay uh, if you differentiate with respect to uh, temperature right so dh by dt is nothing but cp and du by dt is nothing but cv so cp is equal to cv plus r or cp minus cv is equal to r so a very very important relationship between specific heat at constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume that is cp minus cv is equal to R. So, dividing the above equation by Cv, uh, we get, so first term becomes Cp by Cv, that becomes gamma minus Cv by Cv is 1 is equal to R by Cv. So, you will get gamma minus 1 is equal to R by Cv or Cv is equal to R by gamma minus 1. Similarly, dividing the above equation by Cp, we get Cp is equal to gamma r by gamma minus 1. So, very, very important relationships uh, correlating uh, the two specific heats and the gas constant r and the ratio of the specific heats gamma. So, three important relationship, relationships for specific heats, Cp minus Cv is equal to r, Cv is equal to r by gamma minus 1 and Cp is equal to gamma r by gamma minus 1. Okay, friends, with this uh, I conclude the lecture number 2 and we will continue with lecture number 3. Thank you.